today, uh, which is 49.49 for you. Uh, factory in your PMP and your item number is 586742. There is some other newness on the show, and there are some wonderful deals on the show as well. And definitely check the website for Stamps by Me generally, because you might want to add something in your basket and take advantage of Flexi. But first, Tony, very good evening to you. How are you? Yeah, really well, thank you. How are you? Good. Always smiling. Oh, good. It's good to be, isn't it? It is. Always. It's good to be smiling. Always. Positive. So, the ones that you've got in front of you there, Matt, are, like you've said, very modern, yeah. like wiry frame types, mm. things we've been saying today. So, basically, they are like a continued line where the elements drop out and some of them only need three pieces pop, popping back in for the paper piece element of it. Some need six, some need eight, but they're not overly detailed, so you're not going to be paper piecing for hours to get a lovely, lovely effect. So, this one is the Buttercup one. So, we've put a really long elongated design in there for you for your likes of your dl cards as well so not thinking about your chunky squares and your five by sevens as always you have your dl design in there you have the wire bow too so we have our our lovely like large poppy head uh, buttercup head call it as you want really there are no um specific flower names for this one i don't think and then you get the beautiful foliage and you see me demonstrate this one over the course of today it's absolutely gorgeous put some colors behind put some patterned paper behind paint behind really really pretty is this and you're not limited by a design because it's not connected all the parts are disconnected which allows you to then make a beautiful wreath a heart a corner embellishment um things like that and then the last one is your trio of flowers and these again you've got like a, a poppy a tulip and maybe like a, a drooping tulip but again you get the outline which looks incredible in vellums and acetate you saw me this morning build it up and build it up and put layer upon layer upon layer and get like that 3d embellishment um but these are really really different they're not small by any means as always they are huge from stamps by me the packet is true to size and on the reverse of the packaging you always have that fabulous qr code which takes you to over 500 10 15 videos where we've brought products to you here at Create and Craft. So it's just a bit of a support, a bit of a follow on for the people who maybe had the mojo at the time and maybe haven't got it next week. It's mm. incredible. But that's building all the time as well. That's a live list of videos yes. that's growing all the time. It's an so that one important QR code isn't it amazing. I didn't even know what a QR code was about three years ago, but now you know you scan that and usually your phone will understand them these days anyway without even downloading a QR app. Um, and it will take you straight onto the uh, uh, videos for you so you can appreciate all the videos that go with these three sets. Um, and you are indeed getting all three of them. I love the detail as well, just that folded petal tulip. It's something when we went through the boards and it made me stop and I thought, oh yeah, which was that? And you could just see here that lovely tulip here, just that that folded petal just coming down. So even those little twists that you might not have seen first time when you looked at these, but that delicate wire frame, 60% of the stock is gone and it's a purple pass deal of just under 50 pounds. It's 49.49 to order now. We said there was more brand new today and indeed there is with the elegant frames. Now, some of the elegant frames we've already seen, Tony. I mean, wow, you know, we've yeah. seen some beautiful designs in the past. We like to do elegant frames. We like to do aperture dyes. We, we obviously love flowers here at Stamps by Me. And it's always, I won't say it's difficult to be creative all the time because it comes naturally because it's what, it's something we love. Um, but yeah, your frames are like your buildables. You'll be able to build all of the lovely products, not only from here, me here at Stamps by Me, but other fabulous brands too. So you get two elegant frames. So as you can see here, I've just done them as a top folding card here, but you could use it as a landscape or portrait on there. There is no really right or wrong way. The design flows either way, but you can use them as an embellishment also. And then we have this beautiful one, which is a little bit wider. And again, can create those different, unique shaped cards that are going to be different should you pop them on the side at your at your home address on your fireplace on your window ledge you're going to stand out and again landscape portrait there are no rules without one and i'll just show you some lovely lovely samples in different ways that you can use these so they can be used as a topper oh, yeah. as you can see so just as an everyday topper with some of the lovely flowers that we've had here at oh wow Stamps that really stands out in the contrasting car. yeah what about maybe doing portrait Oh, very nice. So it just does look a little bit different. And then here's someone with black and white with a lovely wire frame on there. Oh, and there's that space in the middle to place something like a center. Yeah, you get your mat and layers yeah. for the centers too. Yeah. So you're not restricted in that sense either. Sorry, there we mm. go. 
and the, it just goes on and on and as you can see oh, from look at that they're like white on white yeah oh, like, with the with the elegant florals today's so yeah, yeah on, the, on the right hand side in the, yeah in the corner and as you can see from the designs at the front I've popped all the shaped ones at the front here so you can just get a feel of you know I had the shaped card idea in mind, but yeah. you're not governed by but it being beyond, a shape. You think, think to, beyond, to yeah. I've shown you all those other well. beautiful samples that. Like just to use them as a panel on a bigger card. Absolutely. Really, really versatile, though. There's loads of different. 20% of the stock's gone on those. They're a pair of past price of 29.69 to order them now. It's 586 for 7. Four, three for your elegant frames and the elegant apertures is what I had in mind when I said to, to tell you about having seen previous designs the elegant apertures we've seen some wonderful florals we've seen some beautiful yeah. butterflies and dragonflies before yeah, yeah. in the apertures uh, but now we've got even more brand new designs yeah so these ones are foliage yeah. so you have like a palm leaf on this one stencil through you can create a, like a ray of sunset on there you know black always looks brilliant with a coloured background yeah. five by seven true to size you get the lovely matte and layer as well so you haven't got to worry about did I cut it straight the die cuts it perfectly for you and then we have the fabulous fern yeah. on there too think of Christmas cards green with a little bit of snow on there just to highlight get your gel pen pop a highlight on there pop a bird and a sun in the corner so much you can do with these and these are huge dies, yeah, yeah, yeah. so value card for money, makers, they? absolutely they're, they're, they're incredible. The they're an instant card, yeah. and I've put some samples at the front there just to show you how we're like, oh, for, for instance, there, yeah. this one here. If you build it up and make it look like a tree, it looks like it's, you know, the balloon is the focal point at the front, and the tree just yeah, looks yeah, like... Yeah, but that's a treetop in the background, yeah, that fern, just, isn't it, all you of can a sudden? build them up, oh, tone nice. on tone. That's the gold one with the lovely wire poppies on there too. And then lastly, as I said, with a black sort of silhouette design, you all of, think about what mm. you've bought over the last however many years. You will have probably mm. lots of stencils, mm. lots of stamps, dig them out and just use them. So here's just a few more using sort of like Upo paper, your alcohol inks on there. This is a demo just I did <laughs> earlier today where just glitter card with a black drop shadow, traditional green. Another very similar one with some inky backgrounds and then keep going. So let's just, just show you this one here. So that's just some lovely ink at the back. Look at that. Nothing fancy. You don't have to be an artist to create these type of cards. Beautiful. 35% um, of the stock gone on your uh, beautiful uh, aperture frame dies there. And you are looking at your item number 586744. Your purple pass price again breaking through £30, making it 2969 this next item we're about to show you, however, is limited stock. It's been a very, very busy item. Uh, indeed, my heart nearly broke when Tony, you said you thought it was sold out earlier. Yeah. I thought, no. Yep, I thought uh, it but is. limited stock, it's just about hanging it on in there. Uh, it's going to sell out. It's floating on the air, and it is just a handful of these uh, remaining. Yep, so basically, this was created with the man at heart because we really struggle with the gentleman's cards, and I felt this would be very fitting as always though it's got to have some flowers and flowers yeah it's good but the great thing about this is it stamps as an entity as it is there as you can see if you put the die around it pops out all of these pieces so you can create in a sense a parachute mm. so but you can paper piece them back in and create the full bloom but if you have you know your cute critters like with their arms in the air and the climbing fence all that yeah. if you put one just at the bottom of this basket it's going to look like he's on a parachute isn't it yes and yeah. then the the um you get two dies in the set which cut out these embellishments here so let me just show you for instance how okay. that's going to look so if you do 3d the flowers on the um can you see the 3d there yeah, there we yeah, go. Raise that, yeah. you can build them up if you want to ink sparkle the sparkle pens as well are in an incredible price as well on the website as well so don't miss out on those i found that out today so there you have colored ones completely flat apart from this one here so mix them up with your pattern papers don't be scared oh, to look. experiment you know Oh, loads of inspiration there. I mean, it's going to sell out totally. We love that collection there. Go for it. You get your stamps and coordinating guide to go with it. Uh, it's floating on the area. It is about to go. So if it's in your basket, check it out sooner than somebody else quickly. Uh, 26 99 in the club for it. Um, also, the main collection, the elegant florals that we've got for you here, uh, ranging from all of those 
gorgeous stems and that, that little, just that delicate line of your artwork on them. The potential of using these is huge. We'll come back to these with our demonstration later on, uh, but your details are on the screen now to find it for yourself, 586742. Just to mention the stencil collection uh, as well. These are so popular and we know from the previous shows with Tony uh, today, so many people have already bought these. You get your four six by six stencils, all for a Purple Pass price of 15 29 The Purple Pass means everybody uh, pays the lowest price uh, that you see on screen, your equivalent to the club price. 539837. Uh, then uh, also uh, your um, yeah you get all three of these check the price on these your ultra fine glitter pens all come in a pack of three your olive your lilac and your tangerine check the price out though 11.99 but Craft gives you these for $5.99. If you are in the club, you'll get them for $5.39. Whoa, uh, 516655. And there's also a set of your alcohol markers uh, with your uh, storage case as well. Uh, this is the scenic option now, 501795. 34.99 but whoa a 10 pound saving and if you're in the club you will save even more it's 22.49 uh, and then your watercolor pens your landscape option if you load up all of the items on the show scroll down and these will be towards the bottom proving very popular on today's program these you get all six pens brilliant for your backdrops and landscapes of course is in the name 17.99 for the set uh, but today just 8.99 if you're in the club Club, uh, 508422. And then I was surprised to see some papers actually on the show. I love these bonus extras that have been uh, popped on the end of the show. Uh, the It's all about you, 12 by 12 papers. Uh, would you believe the price that you're about to see here? $23.99 normally, but 11 60 no, Is it the same as price of the 8x8? It's cheaper than an 8x8. It's amazing, Stop. Tony. That's Stop. amazing. Uh, 48 pages there, and the designs that you're getting on there, they are, I mean, oh my gosh. Each page is a project in its own right. Uh, and you've got four of each design uh, uh, there for you, four of each page, 12 designs. Uh, four of each of those designs. And then you've got also the uh, eight by eight version of it. Uh, and it is an incredible, incredible design uh, collection. There's 516632 uh, for your eight by eight in the orange designs. Uh, also uh, 1169 in the club. Uh, this is your elegant floral collection and it's straight over to Tony uh, for our demonstration. I've got monk on. Okay. I've got monk on. <laughs> I'm always joking, grab them, honestly. Nothing to do with me, those prices, well done, Create and Craft. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is I'm going to demonstrate um, the Aperture dies again with the wireframes and the second demo is going to be using the lovely frames. So first of all, I have two colours, a green and a blue um, ink pad. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a pretty background. But I'm also going to use, remember when we cut this in the last show, when we put a bit of a wash on it, I'm going to use this too. So I'm just going to take some of this lovely colour. And if you can see on this uh, piece of white cardstock here, I've masked it off and I've just got like um, a rectangle in the centre. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop some colour. It won't look like I'm putting a lot down to start with. And I'm just going to create a window of colour in here. So let's get some colour down. So I'm using this green, sorry, let me tell you what I'm using because they are on the website. Peacock feathers from the Distress Inks. And we'll just get a hue of colour down. So it, it looks like there's no colour at the moment, but when you take your tape off, there is quite a lot of colour. So you can see the hue there just so I'm not going to um, do too much with the back back part of the color and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, this lovely element that we've die cut and I'm just going to place it over the top so just in that window there and I'm going to swap out the color just clean my brush and I'm going to swap out the color for this lovely blue mm. and I'm just going to stencil through now you can twist the design so it looks like it's absolutely going as like a palm leaf. So let's do that, hey, because we can. And then all I'm going to do, now you could tape it down, 
but I'm not too precious about it. So I'll get that colour through there and hopefully we'll get a pretty design come through. Well, that's one side all coloured up and then just twist my hand around probably doesn't look like much at the moment and then as soon as I take off so I'll just have a sneaky peek and then you get this sort of effect Ooh, on there yeah. can you see that so we still get the hue of the green underneath and then we get that lovely blue sat on top so let's just like let's just make it a little bit more distressed so I'm just going to take some spray of water in my hand drop it on there And then just give it a second to activate that colour underneath there. And then take a tissue and just lift some of that ink. So you get these sort of splotchy effects on there. And obviously they're not going to be dry just because I've blotted them off with tissue. But as they dry, you'll get more of a blot come through. So it'll look a little bit textured. So then let's just take off this tape. This is the grand reveal where we get that lovely sharp frame, that perfect Yeah, and you frame, get a lovely aperture, don't you, which mm. draws your eye into the centre of the card. So, carefully take your tape off. Something quite satisfying about inking a background, especially when you do it in that dusty airbrush style, and then take your tape off, and then you've yeah. got that lovely bright white frame. It looks so professional. Just be careful when you're taking your tape off, it doesn't tear. This is tearing slightly, but I'm okay with it because the line is still nice. Because <laughs> you need a bit of stick, don't you? You can't have it too, you don't yeah, want well, colours to bleed I underneath. I did stick it to my jeans, but it's still not playing ball. But I'm not bothered about it because okay. the design itself has worked beautifully, so I'm happy with it. Yeah. So I'm just going to pull this one away. There we go. And if you have a rubber, and you rub it back, it takes it away anyway, so I'm not overly concerned about it. And then take your, this part away here, and you've got a beautiful oh, aperture in the centre of your card. Can you see the tech? Yeah, can nice. you see the spots with the water? So you could really go to town with the spots yeah. if you wanted to. Yeah, but that's doable. That, that is, is it so far. Anybody watching for the first time thinking, mm, I like that. I yeah, absolutely. That. So mm. dry it off with your heat gun if you need to. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to mount it onto here with my glue so just flat white onto white and what that will do is it will just frame my artwork make sure I'm using the clean side pop that onto the center there and check it opens the right way as well if it is a card <laughs> I don't know can you imagine? Yeah. I, <laughs> I do lots, of, doing, honest, I do lots of upside down yeah, cards. Yeah. <laughs> Once we actually have to trim again and remat and layer, and the card just gets bigger and bigger. So, top folding black note card. Oh, it has such an effect, doesn't it? That simple black border. Yeah. That's why people love black, isn't it? Yeah. So this piece here, which you obviously have as a nice decorative element, don't think, don't waste it. If you can't, if you wanted to, you can pop it in here, look, stick it flat and then pop a piece of white card in like a rectangle shape and stamp the happy birthday mm. in there and write on it there. Mm. So this is a nice backdrop inside your card if you want mm. to. Okay, that so don't, matches, don't waste. It matches because yeah, you've just yeah. stenciled through it. So you know it's going to match. It's good. And then ahead of time, I've cut one of the beautiful... <gasps> Yeah, wire flowers, flowers yeah. from the trio of flowers which you are with there so i'm just going to pop some mm -hmm. glue onto here Got all three sets in our big collection today the elegant florals delicate buttercups the linear poppies and then your fragile florals as well and that's from the fragile florals of your tulips <laughs> Margaret's just messaging in to say uh, our fab demos today. She's loved all the demonstrations. Aww. She's enjoyed all the shows. Nice to see new products as well. Oh, thank you, Margaret. And, and then nice I have back. some lovely sentiments from the balloon stamp saying happy birthday and have fun. Mm. So all I'm going to do is just stick these flat. I'm sorry it's sold out now, but... So 
So a very simplistic card and very quick. And you know if you've got all your stash out, make three cards. And I'm going to leave it at that. Oh. I don't, don't need anything else, does it? That's good. It's just simplistic and beautiful, I think. Just the clean, contemporary, we're not afraid of white spaces. We're using silhouettes in the black card with the die cut. And yeah. you just created a nice, simple background with your stencil style and a little bit of an airbrush technique with your distress inks as well. Utterly doable. And you can make one of those and make and give it or make and sell it as well, absolutely. couldn't you, Tony? Absolutely. Or you could make that same card. Once you've got... Because what do we find the hardest sometimes is like with the crafting mojo that you called it there, Tony, is like the, the whole... Oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to design? How? Once you've come up with a design, do it again, but in a different colourway. Yeah. Do a stack of six, tie them together with a bit of a bow and sell them, make yeah. them. You've, got, so, a yeah. you've got all everything you need to make that one card. All you've got to do is change the colour. Exactly. So whilst it's all out, make more than one, yeah. sell a bag them up. Then when your neighbour does knock on your door and says, can I have a card? You've got one You're because ready. you've got a few, you've made a few extras. If you do one, put all your stash away. It's a long mm. day. Exactly. You're, you're getting like, everything I've out. I've done everything today, but yeah. I've only made one card. That's because you're in and out of stock. It's yeah. like, Make six if you do all three. That's yeah. what that's how I do it anyway. Make your time worthwhile. And yeah. looking at all these different styles as well here, Tony. Yeah, you see like a... that inked background, yellow, yeah. green and orange. Why not do another in purple, yellow exactly. and blue or something like that? You're running your dyes through, yeah. see which dyes fit. And when you look at those inky, splodgy backgrounds, you might feel that your fragile florals fit better or you might feel that your delicate buttercups work better. So die cut a few of them in craft card, white card, black card and mix and match and hold them over Absolutely. and see which and do ones do all work. your backgrounds and lay them all out. Out to dry by the time you come back to do it first it'll be dry won't it got you got you see it just makes see, sense it's about making it? it easy on yourself it is. isn't it it's about it's not cutting corners it's not being lazy it's just not about making sense and making it easy for yourself but the simplicity of you see uh, i reference people that might be watching for the first time where's that card gone i'm going to come around that side with you for a minute because there's an example of one that's been paper pieced with your glitter card just here that's paper piecing that's really nice that is that's lovely just taking the flower heads um, but look at this one just in front of it to the right paper paper piecing is one thing but paper Maybe piecing back or, or using embossing powders or inks, whatever it might be to colour, just one feature floral and then have white on white on the background. Or if you're watching for the first time, right, this is really simple. This one just down here on the bottom. Sarah's on camera seven. She's really nicely following me. So you've got yourself. You, all you've got to do is paint or ink a bit of a background. Literally just do, daub your paint on or your ink on and then put a die cut over the top and add a sentiment on. It is that easy. So you could, even if you've never crafted before, by next week, you could be telling friends of yours that you hand make your own cards. So it's lovely. And, and you can tell from what I'm saying here, I'm really keen for you to get into crafting, find a new hobby uh, or to think positive and think, yeah, do you know, what? I can do that. I could be a crafter. Uh, and uh, to anyone that's already watching as a, a full time crafter or one uh, that's been doing it for many, many years, uh, I'm sure you'd agree with me that it's one of the most fun and creative things that you can do. And, and it's a very... It's a useful hobby for taking us out of the day-to-day -day grind and the worries, isn't it? Crafting, a lot of people turn to crafting that we talk to uh, or, or we know ourselves, uh, and then we've gone into crafting for those reasons, and it can really take you away to a nice, happy place. 586-742 to order with your elegant florals. You're getting all three sets with three dies in each set for 49 49 That's a purple pass price, which is the best and lowest price for everybody. The floating on the air design set, sold out i'm so sorry but just to confirm here it is if you've got that in your basket or you had it in your basket you have done well it came with three coordinating dies as well as all the stamps there uh, and you've got it there hopefully you've checked out because it has sold out it was limited stock as it says but it has now sold out i promise you uh, congratulations on your purchase so we've got the elegant florals that we just saw that lovely floating on the air set we've got the frames on today's show uh, which is your brand new uh, brand new designs uh, and a couple of different sets that are brand, brand new uh, with Tony. And this is our last live show today with Tony. Uh, and then Carly's just prepping her next live show next to me, just in that set. So do stay tuned. Uh, but Tony, what did you want to show us next on the demonstration? I want to show you everything. Have we got all, can we stay here all night? <laughs> yeah, show it all. Just Go got on. so much to yeah. show you. Yeah. It's, that's the we thing about, this is the thing about live shows, isn't it? Just not enough time. Yeah. I guess that's why I do studio. 
yeah. you know, my own studio. Yeah. And we can have that you, fun and play. Just, there those, just never yeah. is enough time. No. I always feel like, oh, quick, quick, quick. But anyway. But that's good though. Yeah, you yeah. know, you've got ideas flowing with a certain set or a design. I'm like that you. with that's, everyone. Honestly, I'm like that with everyone. The designs just keep coming and coming and coming. It's incredible. <laughs> so on this design uh, stamp, sorry, card, I'm going to do elegant frame two which I've not used yet, this beautiful one, and we're going to do a shaped card. I'm also going to use the linear poppies, this one with the lovely oh, yeah. foliage, wire frame foliage. That's Don't forget, though, Elegant guys, Jewels, that lovely QR code on the back there to take you to all of the tuition mm -hmm. of all the products we bring to you here at Create and Craft. And I, I was going to use the sentiments from there, but we'll play it by ear. So what I'm going to do is cut the outline of our frame and two of the linear poppy foliages. Uh, I've already done quite a lot of the die cutting already to, you know, speed up the process. Mm -hmm. But this is a super, super cool demo, which I think you might really like. Well, I hope you like it all, but <laughs> look at me trolley behind poking through. Yeah, you can tell I've been Mary. going through it, can't you? Looking yeah. for things. Got I'll it ready to stand in front of it. <laughs> so let's just pop. Let's just pop this one. So we have our outline of our lovely frame. So this shows you that it doesn't have to be a shaped card. It can be a topper for a card if you want it to be. So that one, so just set that one aside. And then we have our lovely wire foliage. So if I can just get my hand under there and then just tap it on the counter, all the bits will pop out. These are beautiful. I love foliage. So I'm always yeah. onto a winner in my opinion with the foliage. So there's one. So you can see that if you paper piece that back in like a rainbow, oh, look, yeah. look gorgeous, wouldn't it? And yeah, th these these are the sort of ideas you get as I'm as I'm doing mm. my demo as well, which you know, it's a credit to the product and the design. So when you yeah, when you've got more ideas I've going, not, I've not, I don't. It's very rare unless I'm unwell. Yeah. Um, it just doesn't flow. If yeah. it's not flowing, I'm not very well. Okay, that's okay. usually the case. You know so, why, yeah. and I'm not yeah. I'm not um, poorly ever really. But it's always a sign of when I'm not feeling very well. Yeah, but is <laughs> it funny? You, other than you, that, I'm like absolutely overflowing. But you've been using something and you haven't even finished doing what you wanted to do with it, and you're having another idea Already. about what you want to do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> By the time you've finished the end of the day, you've made about 18 cards. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. So let's show you um, where this is exactly going. So, ahead of time, I have cut another one of these frames. Can we see here? So, I'll get rid of that gem. So, I'll just make them the right way. Can we see that there? And what I've done is I've popped a little score line in the top there. So, I'm going to create just a pretty little shaped card here. Now, there are a few ways that you can sh create your shaped card. You can fold this edge over, pop some tape on here and stick it to the back as long as you don't mind that edge or you can pop some tape on here and stick it just direct on top there are no rules so it's personal preference i'm just going to go and stick it flat onto here like so so i'm just going to pop some tape on for speed and what i always do is i pick it up line it up perfect pinch it together and then give it a push at the top and then you have a shaped card so that's the, that's the outline and it's a looks, confident way of doing it. It is, and it, look, it, it looks it, prettier it? on the back. Can you see mm. if you do that? But you can tuck it in, so it's personal preference. Some people do it the other way. Yeah. So let's do this. So let's just move this one out of the way. So here I have already cut the delicate frame part of it. Oh, it's so beautiful, that. It really is. I mean, that's flowing. It's that's, big, isn't it? And when yeah. we say the design is true to size, you can see, look. Mm. So what so, you see on the packaging? That is the decorative part, and yeah. that blue pit is your outline. So you get what it says on the packaging. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, it's frustrating, isn't size. it? Because sometimes you buy a die, yeah. you think, oh, it looks incredible. That like you get it home, and it's yeah. a quarter of the size. You're like, oh, yeah, why, yeah. why didn't I read it? Yeah, or the other way around. Because on the back, normally Some, the sizes are Sometimes bigger than the packaging, because it has yeah. to be shrunk down to make space for brand names and logos yeah, and absolutely. things. Yeah, absolutely. You don't quite know where you stand. It's frustrating, mm. absolutely frustrating. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, instead of uh, leaving it white, which I probably normally would, we're going to make it sparkly. So I have an embossing ink pad here. Ooh, yeah. I'm just going to pop some of this embossing ink onto the die cut. All over. So I'm just pushing that sticky ink into the die cut. Like so. I'm going to pick it up. 
and turn it over and then we're going to use some of Claire's Thirsty Brush Embossing Powders, sparkly ones. Can we see that there? Oh yeah, very nice. She does some wonderful she, products, doesn't she, Claire Manning? She, yeah, with her uh, she does. embossing powders, the watercolour paints that she does as yeah, well. I'm not jealous. Paint pa uh, pa uh, paper pads that she's brought us. No, we're not jealous, are she's we? She's no, back no, next not. week with something incredible. Oh, is she? Really? I, I was just thinking the other day, actually. I was just thinking it's been a while since we'd seen Claire. She's back next week. Ah, watch your um, emails then. Watch the yeah. early bird emails for club members. Watch this space. Watch the uh, the so, website. That's so what that's it's the super pink sparkly one. And then I have a lot of sort of not so sparkly ones. So I'm just going to fill in those spaces. So I'm just going to chuck this all over. So I'll have a sparkly and a not so sparkly area. So I'll brush it off. So I'm going to have like a baby, not a baby pink, a pastely coloured frame here. Now, don't be um, hard on yourself if you if you end up with white spaces. It's not the end of the world. It still looks OK. So I'm just trying to cover the white spaces if possible. But if you don't cover them, it honestly is not the end of the world. But I'm happy with that. I think that's covered. There we go. So now we have sort of a semi sparkly mm frame and it's yeah, going to because colour. i've used a sparkle and a non-sparkle what mm. we should end up with is like a little bit of a marble effect oh. so rather than doing it all in one color and be a bit boring see this is the other thing about crafting you never quite know how things are going to turn out they never uh, this is said in the politest way possible you it, they never turn out the way you, no. you plan almost. and it's not until you play and yeah. enjoy the product yeah. that you think oh that's incredible. I'm really pleased with that. I'm proud of myself for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because as crafters, we do talk to ourselves. Wow, yeah. look at that. <laughs> that would be, I like that. I yeah, like that. Yeah. yeah. You're like, yeah. who are you talking to? Oh, oh I'm just talking to myself. Yeah, I do talk to myself. So I'm talking to myself in the car on the way here. <laughs> it's awesome, isn't it? <laughs> talking to myself. I'm my best friend. Um, but yeah, I mean, I made my wife an anniversary card. When would it have been now? Um, end of September. And it didn't turn out anywhere near what I pictured in my head but it was a lovely card in the end like yeah. little techniques that didn't go quite right and it doesn't always go right or how you intend or it's better than you expected and you know it's it's very it's such a rewarding thing to do to craft and to make things it's, you enjoy doing it and you enjoy what you've made at the end of it I think and you almost forget where you've been while you're doing it yeah, sometimes you forget to eat. It's not a bad thing. Mm. So I'm just melting this powder here. So you can see how sparkly. I'll hold it up in a second because I'm not sure if it's actually showing. But as that lovely embossing powder melts, it gives it a beautiful, like, marbly sheen. Makes it very, very shiny. So multicolour and glittery, but not overly glittery, not glittery everywhere. And you sometimes, it's just the, 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 yeah, the and sometimes you find with um, sparkly embossing powders, you rub over and it all rubs off, and that's because the uh, glitter is too thick. The embossing powder is plastic and it doesn't hold it. Yeah. Whereas with this, Claire's absolutely got the consistency perfect. And I know that if I give this a brush over right now, nothing's going to come off. It's, mm. it, it's real, and it's true what they say, isn't it? You, once you find a product you love, you never change, dear. No, no, that no, no. That die cut, Tony, I can't get over it. The design on that die cut, the flourishes, the swirls, it's just divine that. I just think that, and this is coming from somebody that loves, I, I like I, angles and uh, art deco, but there, there aren't really any angles to speak of. It's, it's curvy, it's flourishing, it's, it's almost like waves and clouds yep. billowing. It's and it's got, really the, it's got these lovely curls here too, so if you want to pop a gift card behind, the mm. legs hold the gift card in place. See the legs mm. here? Or hug a topper, like slot a topper yeah, in and just have it, inside. sort of the curve coming over it. Yeah, so Gripping let's it. create our lovely card. So now you can see, now we've got that lovely colour on there. As soon as you pop it onto that lovely white matte and layer, it just pops. Can we That's see that healthy. there? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Before I put that on though, what I want to do is we have this lovely design because we've used it once with the blue. I'm just going to pop some pink through the centre here, just so I haven't got a white open space in the centre of my mm. design. Again, multi-purpose. This is just a die cut that you've used as a stencil a couple of times. Now. Yeah, and because I might not be able to stamp the... Um, Sentiments in the centre because they've sold out. This is going to take your eye away from that harshness. So I'm just cleaning my brush, get a little bit of pink, not a lot. And I'm just focusing on this little area here. Can you see that there? Oh so, yeah, just the exposed. Yeah, just a bit so in the just to get yeah. 
pop that on there and just pop some colour through because what will happen is the decorative frame will hide most of it anyway so if I just get some colour in this centre part And then hopefully we'll have a little bit of yep detail in the centre mm. there. It's great, it's great stencil that. I yeah, tell you. really good. I'm taking Keep that on with me. I've been using it all yeah. week. Really good, good, good value. Piece, piece of card die cut. And keep going back to it. Yeah. So I'm going to do is just pop some of this onto my glass mat here. Okay, this is going to give us a little bit of wiggle room, isn't it? This glue, this particular glue. Yeah, that just use. helps just to make sure I get it lined mm. up. I'm not the best liner upper at mm -hmm. the moment. My eyes are not the best either. And I'm, and I'm just going to line this up in the centre. And you see how that decorative design just pops through the centre there. So beautiful, that, yeah. The and colour is really bright. A chance to grab. You know how you said always smiling, Tony? That, that design, that colour scheme, that's always smiling. That's beautiful, <laughs> really bright. Pretty in pink. Mm. Yeah. So we have this decorative one that's been stamped, die cut in pink, and with the lovely wire bow on there and a pretty nice. um, white gem on there. That's from the and we also floor, have our lovely, lovely, um, like, skeleton fretwork you yeah, can call them yeah, couldn't yeah. you and these can obviously go behind if should you wish so See, let's they're very subtle they're not they're not distracting they're not covering the design that you've already got so it just gives you another option doesn't it if you've got foliage pieces that that would be filled in silhouette style they'd be blocking off your design but you're you're not covering your design in this respect no I just love the diff I love the Complutant. idea of a shaped card. Mm. Really, really different. So I'm just tucking these into this sort of like leg here in the design. And I'm just popping that in there like so. I'll probably bring that around just a little bit. Just give that a second to grab there. So white on white always is lovely and appealing on the eye. And then this one I'm just gonna pop some glue behind Oop. onto some foam pads. If we're going for individuals today, this, this bow and the buttercups, they're from one set alone. They're from de delicate buttercups. So you could just buy that one set on its own if you want. I'll just give that one a second to grab. And why would you when you've got a purple house price, I guess? You've got all, th all three of them. Yeah, they're really, really lovely. Mm. And the unique designs mean they're going to work with a lot of your other stash yeah. as well. And yeah. that's what's the forefront of my mind, really, every time I'm creating. Will they work with this? Will they work with that? Oh, yeah, they will. Right, OK, yeah, yeah, let's yeah. do it. Let's have a look at this now. Bright pinks, beautiful tone on tone with your darker pinks, lighter, I mean, lovely sort of introduction of texture from the embossing powder. You've got the glitters in there as well. Tony, really nice card again. Thank really you. nice, lovely. <laughs> uh, yeah, it takes us somewhere else, doesn't it? You know, when you're watching a demonstration or when you're actually crafting yourself, uh, you know, you are, you are transported for that five or 10 minutes or whatever it might be. And you can do that. This is what we love about when we're looking at three brand new designs here. You've got your delicate buttercups there, your fragile florals, and also your linear poppies, they all come in a trio and you are getting the best price here, the purple pass price of 44 49 two interest free flexes if you want to spread the cost as well for you making it just 25 25 uh 24 75 rather uh if you are is spreading the cost with your flexi 586 742 but wait for it we want to show you even more artwork here uh you know you've got um lovely colors going on here if you're going for your stronger greens or silhouettes uh if you're creating a backdrop this is brilliant because if you're creating this it's almost like one of those photos and so you take a photo the instant photos where you've got your backdrop here uh, and then you might be coloring or paper piecing back in certain elements and then just adding a floral over the top and then a matching uh matching scene oh wow tony did you make one of these earlier yes. <laughs> Sorry? His and hers. Oh, his and hers, yeah. <laughs> so this is the one that I did this morning. morning. And night. Yeah, yeah, so it just shows you in the different colour waves. So you can, yeah. these, some of the elements have been paper pieced back in in the centre there. Can you see? Mm. And uh, on yours, really the recess. Yeah, you've got your oranges and the yellows here. Love that, Tony. Thank you. Um, and then over here, we said how we loved our foliage here. Uh, all of the artwork. I mean, it cannot fail uh, in showing us just how usable all of these dies are. But there's that little bow uh, just in the middle here and that outside edge, just that whether you are paper piecing, leaving it open or using multicolour card and paper piecing back in using the dots of this backing paper, you get a very, very lovely effect. But subtle, you know, soft, subtle colours or go for, you know, full on black and white, making a big, big event 
uh, of those swirls from one of the elegant frames and then here is one of those florals from the set that we've just been talking about and that's the buttercups set there the delicate buttercups and that's just one of the dies and then the second die on there is the bow and you've still got that third one to play with giving you the options um, if you're just going for like the flower head designs or just creating a little bit of a corner spray um, you're leaving all of that space uh, if you want to be really sort of confident about it and not worry about open space or make the most of having a background uh, or uh, if you want to go for a really wonderful paper piece design uh, with uh, maybe some pearlescent card as is the case here uh, how lovely is that that's like a faux emboss because it's tone on tone or it's this you know cut from the same color and style of card but then overlaid back on top just think oh gosh, gosh can I show you just that one last one very very quickly there with that feature color as well it's very naughty of me but I couldn't resist um Tony thank you so much been a lovely show beautiful demonstrations yeah we will see you soon um so stay tuned stay with us we've got one more live show coming up after this <laughs> 